What's up guys, I'm just cruising in Little Sask here as usual, but uh, just heard Trudeau. Yep, they're giving them bigger guns. The problem has not been that they don't have the tools, Justin. The problem has been that they don't want to wield evil tools because they are actually here. They're not in the ivory tower with you as you push around your fictional armies on the board where I have the power to do this, I have the power to declare them. The media has helped me declare them with the help of my photographer to brand them as Nazis and the help of lunatic Mayor Watson to say that it's a violent occupation. And then the hystericalized public of Ottawa can call in saying, oh my God, they're beeping their horns. My eardrums all explode every night in terror. That doesn't happen. All we've done is lower crime here, but the demonization campaign continues. The fact is, no one's been listening, Trudeau. The tools are not the problem. The problem is that patriots become cops. Patriots become RCMP. Patriots become OPP and Ottawa Police and Durham Police and Peel Police. And all the people you hope to carry out this, guess who's here? Their mothers, their families. You think they all want to wear masks their whole life with no metric except you sitting there going, don't worry, it'll all be over once 100% of us are vaccinated with something that our top doctors can't even endorse anymore and they can't say anything. So I can't even use medical advice to tell you to get this vaccine. Just the fact that I'm a tyrant going to grant you freedom when I get 100% participation. We know it's about the digital ID, Justin. We're not idiots like you. I know you live in your bubble, your ivory tower up there in Parliament, and you, we know that there's foreign interests that forbid you from ever doing your will. We don't care. We don't care who you agree with or how long this takes. We're here forever, and the cops know we're peaceful, but they know that there's no crime where truckers are. This is a peaceful movement. We're not leaving. It doesn't matter how many tools you give them, how many... Oh, it's a double emergency. Next week, we're going to... Uh, it's going to be a mega emergency. We're going to use the military next week. The military are patriots too, Dustin. Everywhere you turn, you're just in your ivory tower pushing around those fictional armies that you think are loyal to you. They're not. We're Canadians, dude. What do you see around here? Do you see Nazi flags? No, only your photographer does. And only the media and zombies who won't turn off their CBC TV. We're patriots. They're not following your orders. We're less scared now than ever. But guys, I will remind you, you do need to get down here. Sitting there, getting comfortable, saying, I'm proud the truckers there. They need your support. Get down here now. I'm here today because I'm uh, 65 years old. And uh, the, uh, for two years, I haven't been able to live my life. I was I retired and uh, I can't do anything that I'm supposed to want. I mean, I retired a few years ago and uh, I can't do anything that I would normally would do. I can't go to restaurants. I I can't go anywhere. I can't fly. Uh, and I'm double vaxxed. Okay, I actually I used to go to the doctor. And I would always say, should I get a second opinion? Do you remember that? Anybody remember yeah. that? That was a pretty a common expression. What happened? The government's our opinion now. We don't get a second screen, sorry. That's not where I come from. I'm here for free speech. I'm here for freedom of movement. When I was young, I could travel across Canada with my thumb. 